Hey guys, how's it going? This is Delphal Lockpicker here, and welcome back to this week's Logsport update. If you happen to be new, welcome and thank you for checking out this video. This video serves as a really great place for the community to share any of the great updates that they have throughout the week, whether it be any personal accomplishment or anything cool they saw throughout the week. And it's also a great place for me to share anything that I have been working on. If you have any great updates that you'd like to see shared next week, I highly recommend that you drop them in the comments below and I will look through them and try to include them in next week's Locksport update. But without further ado, let's get started with this week's Locksport update. I'd like to first start off this week's Locksport update by going over a pretty cool channel that has been picking a lot of really interesting locks over the last few months. The channel that I'm going to mention today is called Correct Jeans. Correct Jeans recently picked a really cool lock that you can see featured on Reddit r slash lockpicking. The post that he made was picking the Dom IX Twin Star lock. That is a really cool lock that comes with a lot of difficulties and only a handful of people have probably opened it and it is such a big accomplishment. This pick has been stickied on the very front of the r slash lock picking subreddit. This is a really great accomplishment. I just want to say Correct Jeans, really great job on opening this up and I'd like to share a really quick clip of Correct Jeans working on this lock right now. Hey everyone, Correct Jeans here and this big old padlock here contains a Dom IX Twin Star. Now the IX Twin Star is a 10 pin dimple lock uh, with two interactives. One of the interactives accounts for one of those 10 pins. First interactive gets pushed downwards in order to receive a sprung, a sprung sidebar. Um, and the second one gets pushed upwards in order to overlift one of the pins. Um, and that pin is sort of like a weird spool shape. You'll see it when we get it. Um, other than that, there are nine other pins, uh, each of which is a security pin. There are no standard pins in this lock. Um, and uh, yeah, there's a lot of clicks involved with it. This guy is actually surprisingly difficult to hit. There we go. Got him. Now we're in a very deep false set. All right, a little click out of one. And the lock is picked. Thank you so much for checking out Correct Jeans opening up this lock. This is such a cool opening and I just want to say really great work and it's really cool seeing all the locks that you have opened up. What you see in front of you right now is a really quick view of all of his videos and you can see all of the really cool locks that he's been opening up throughout the last few months. If you'd like to check out Correct Jeans channel, what I'm going to do is put a link up on the top here so you can check him out further and consider subscribing. Another cool thing that was mentioned last week was Gordon W. Gordon W. mentioned that he met Huxley Pig in person. I just want to say that that's just really cool. Huxley Pig is such a cool, talented guy. And I just want to say I'm just a little bit jealous. And Gordon W., thank you so much for sharing that. We also have another pretty cool giveaway going on right now. Sauce Pest is doing a giveaway. Saucepus has a pretty cool channel, and if you'd like to check out his channel in that giveaway, what I'm going to do is put a link up on the top here so you can check him out and consider subscribing. Another cool channel recently is Jason Carlson. Jason Carlson has been working on doing a community pick giveaway. He's made a few previous videos where he was going over the community being able to select the type of pick that he would make. And he has finally selected a few winners to his community pick giveaway. I just want to say congratulations to all of the winners. Jason Carlson makes such a cool pick. The pick that you see in front of you right now is actually a Jason Carlson pick. And whoever has won those picks, you're going to really enjoy it. He does such a great job. And I just want to say, Jason Carlson, thank you so much for trying to support the community. It is just really, really cool to see all of your hard work being able to be displayed in the community. And I just want to say thank you. Another thing that Jason Carlson did recently is he sent me back my very first challenge lock that I've ever made. It is the only challenge lock that I have ever made and it is in this package. And what I'd like to do is just open it up very quickly and be able to see my lock once again. If anyone's ever interested in trying out this lock, this lock is called Screw Up. It is my one and only challenge lock and if you are to try it out, I just really ask that 
you don't lose track of it or if you can try to send it back to me since it's kind of sentimental. But let's see what he wrote here. All right, sorry for the long time sending back to me. Jason, that's not a big deal. I was not in any rush to get it back, but thank you for um, sending it back to me in general. So this is my one and only challenge lock here called Screw Up. I'll just share this with you. I have featured it before. It is a Schleg lock that I made a couple modifications to. On this lock, you can see it has a pretty decent key. But the really cool thing is, is I filed away the top of the keyway here, so you really don't have much of an option for, tension it, for tensioning it unless you use the bottom of the keyway. And that can make a pretty interesting pick for someone that is first trying to get into challenge locks because everyone really loves top of the keyway, and this lock can put up a pretty good fight. Jason Carlson kind of threw in the towel on this one and did not end up getting it open on camera. Man, you got a tough lock. I'm gonna call it. I've been whipped. But moving on to the next topic for this week's lock sport update, I have a big congratulations to go out. If you guys are not familiar already, Lock Noob, Lock Noob has a fantastic channel. He is always making fun and creative videos. He is a pioneer in the lock sport. He's made so many cool concept picks, pens, tensioning tools. He is just such a good creative mind and he has such a talent for making so many cool things and he has the full support of Sparrow. They're always making his products and making them commercially available to anyone that wants to be able to purchase and use them. What happened with Lock Noob is he just recently reached 20,000 subscribers. That is 20,000. That is such a big number. In Locksport, there are only a few channels that have more than 20,000 subscribers, and that is just such an incredible number. And I just want to say, Lock Noob, your hard work has paid off after the last few years. And I just want to say really big congratulations to you. That is such a big accomplishment. If you haven't already, Lock Noob is doing a really cool 20,000 subscriber giveaway, and I highly recommend that you check it out. If you haven't checked out Lock Noob already, I'll put a link up on the top here so you can check him out and consider subscribing. So the last thing I want to leave you with is a little bit of a mystery channel. This channel has been going on for a long time, but it has not had a video in over a year. The channel that I am going to mention is a channel that was mentioned last week, and the channel goes by Texas Jim. Texas Jim has well over 500 videos. He used to be uploading very, very frequently, but within the last year, he has just stopped altogether. I don't know if anyone has any information on exactly what Texas Jim has been up to, but it is really interesting to see all of these really very popular channels that have been consistently uploading just starting to stop over the last year. If anyone has any good information, I'd highly encourage you to leave it in the comments below if you have anything. That'd be really interesting to know. And what I'm going to leave you with right now is a really quick clip of a Texas Jim video. Okay, um, Poultry314 was asking me about these disc locks. He wanted to see the inside of one. Okay, I've cut one open for Poultry314 or for anyone that is uh, really interested in it. Thank you so much for checking out that quick clip of Texas Gem. If you'd like to check out his channel further, what I'm going to do is put a link up on the top here so you can check it out and consider subscribing. All of the channels that I have mentioned today, I'm going to put a link to their channel in the video description below. Just make sure you open that up and check out all of the channels, any one that you would like to see. But that is all I have for you today. This has been this week's Lock Sport Update. This is such a fun video series for me to run. I really enjoy interacting with everyone and seeing everyone being able to share any of their updates throughout the week. If I, miss, if I missed anyone's updates this week, I highly recommend that you post them in the comments section below and just remind me. I try not to miss anyone. But either way, guys, if you have any questions or suggestions, 
please leave them in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more like it, please subscribe. As always, thank you so much for checking out this video and I hope you all have a great day and just thank you so much for checking this out.